All right, people. Welcome back. More D and Dill commentary. So we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here. All right, and we got Elijah the Bear at twelve seventy seven, and Ebony's Blaze at thirteen sixty one. So you're seeing some uh, performer piles. I haven't seen any Dracos yet, but definitely performer piles. So uh, we saw uh, Guitar Turtle, then Sorcerer. Draw a card, Pendulum Summon, Sorcerer, and Abductor, pop the two Pendulum Scales, get uh, Monkey Board and Joker, Summon Joker, Search, and I think that's pretty much it. You're all caught up, so. Oh, yeah, and... it's, it's still a very powerful deck for sure. Mm-hmm. The plus is just so real. Like, like, do we really have to take it to, like, OCG level? I mean, I I really feel like no one, they're only doing really doing the deck is because Sorcerer. The Sorcerer is so good. Yeah, pretty much. How did you hit Sorcerer to one? We're like, no, we don't need to hit Sorcerer and look at it. They also banned Monkey Board. I wonder if that that make much of a difference too. And yeah, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, definitely. Them one card pendulum scales. Got that luster and get ready to make an Ignister next turn. Like, wow. Wow, well, already. Already, Ebony's like, like what happened? Either Ebony didn't open up well, or they just thought they couldn't fight against uh, that opening play in that setup, so they decided to scoop it up and not reveal their deck. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Cause wow, that was that was like immediate scoop. So yeah, Sorcerer should probably be hit. <laughs> yeah, most likely. Mhm. Mm Cause multiple sorcerers. A summoner monk play too. I never thought about that, but I guess I'm not sure if they're running enough spells to pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> summoner monk. Doesn't seem like that great. I mean, it's powerful if you have enough spells. Just summoner monk pitch a spell, summon sorcerer, pop both of them, search. Like wow, all right. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god, this deck again. Yeah, of course it is. Oh Everybody loves them extra deck monarchs. Getting real sick and tired. Yeah, at of least it's not uh, with domain, but it's still very annoying. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Konami just doesn't hit domain. They hit, yeah, like. Yeah, possible. Well, of course, Pantheism, but what, like, maybe Tenacity or Monarch Stormforce? Alright. I'll give him Tenacity so he can search for the the return if he wanted to. <laughs> this is more deck than it right there, especially if he searches for the same card. But extra deck Monarchs. <laughs> They've been seeing that out. At this point, Monarchs is essentially an engine, not even a real deck. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Getting ridiculous. Have you, have you seen what they've been doing with in OCG with uh, that Blackwing Gofu guy? Yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty powerful. Summon him, get your two tokens, tribute for uh, for Karaz, and pop the tokens. The draw cards like that. That's power. <laughs> or make uh, Ultimae with the uh, trap monster. Mm-hmm. It's that plus uh, your. Your prime and Ultimaya set and summon uh, Crystal Meth. That's that's power. <laughs> yeah, as they're in a Rodane. Rodane. Freaking a Rodane. <laughs> wow. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, strike, striker, warning? Or just strike, strike, strike? Yeah, strike, strike, warning. Choose one. They're all good. <laughs> Oh my god. Just in itself, you shouldn't be able to just reveal to me three freaking strikes. Like, <laughs> like really? <laughs> Great. Wow. I guess they didn't open up the high scale this time. Got a master. <laughs> How many do they play? How many masters is it? Three mass, three vector, one luster, or is it, is it changed, or is it different? It depends. Okay. Do they play? Some run three master, but some run some run only two. Do they run and vector? only one vector? No vector. Okay, one vector. <laughs> say, what happened to vector? He had came out, I think, after the Draco Pals got hit, and I haven't seen much of him. Like this deck kind of was sleeping for a couple of months. I was waiting for it to like put in that work at regionals or YCS's and I didn't see it and then all of a sudden it just popped up again. Like, hey, I'm not dead. I'm Draco Pal. <laughs> yep, so let me scoop it up. 
Ebenezer Blaze. <laughs> Not all again. <laughs> oh, Ebenezer Blaze just sitting there. Hmm. <laughs> Got that Valor, I got Valor hella hard, yep. Oh, just yeah, if your area gets stopped, uh, the turn pretty much stops there, if you're not normal sunlight. You mean at least you get your pantheism back? Hmm. Wow, just drawing all the lower scales. Okay, going for Dinoster, I guess. Oh yeah. Dinoster, yep. What does he do? He summons one from the hand of graveyard? Yeah. Okay, now I can do something. Oh, yeah. There you go. Then Pentrum summon. Should I try to wrap this duel up? So, yeah, I don't think Monarch's running much back row, if any. Alright. Get jumped? <laughs> oh. Okay. That you maybe would have attacked first. Oh, man, right that's out. pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> no, I don't want you to get that idea, but. <laughs> yep, Dennister, go ahead and summon back. Mm. Yep, that's good. Damn. <laughs> wow. It's we too easy. So fast. Wow. Alright, well, we'll get another duel in. Alright, so we got another duel, so we got Team Sin, Tenacity, so maybe just a Monarch place. Running uh, that one, uh... oh, Dark Witch. What the right? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I saw a couple of Monarch decks running uh, King's Knight, I mean, no, Jack Knight, just to get your normal monster back off of uh, Lazuli. Like, that is a very old <laughs> normal monster. Yeah, yeah, just Dark Witch, because why not? Uh, Tenacity at 1322 got them uh, customs using them extra deck monarchs. And we got Aaron <laughs> at 1334. So I believe that's a little chibi kid form kid of Kiliwa? Ki Kilia? Kilia from Hunter Hunter, I think. <laughs> and Yoshi sleeves, like, okay. So. Maybe we'll get to see more extra deck monarch plays. I've actually been hearing some people talk about how extra deck monarchs aren't even like tier one anymore. No. Like really? <laughs> I haven't really really been paying attention much to the the YCS are starting to move into national territory now, but are they really not doing that well? Like is it more like Cosmos and Draco Pals and PK? Have they out have they pushed the monarchs out of the top three? No, Monarchs are still one of the best decks, for sure. Okay. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do, Tenacity? So, do you think Extra Deck Monarchs are better than Domain Monarchs? Well, they are more uh, versatile, for sure. The Domains are just, yeah... Uh, based around Lockdown, but once uh, your plan gets rid of your Fiasco, well, you are pretty much screwed, mostly. Mm. Yeah, the versatility is there, but I mean, was that a versatile play that he did right there? I mean, damn, <laughs> okay. look at that Dark Witch. That <laughs> okay, it's the Atlantean deck or Vera Mouse, whatever it mm -hmm. is. The deck is still pretty good. Depending on how that deck faces like Blue Eyes and stuff, I could see I could see Lunar World. <laughs> Since it's pretty much untouched, yeah, maybe. Let's combine. I think we got all the same hits that they do, don't they? Don't we? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, is this if you tribute a tribute summoned monster? So, you can just tribute his Dark Wit. It's weird seeing this card, like. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> he tributed, <coughs> I mean, I guess. I was kind of wondering why you did that. Besides just, you know, the, the drop. Kind of just tributed. Well, then. Yeah. Yeah, Diva. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am going 
for the effect. I didn't summon the prince, of course. Anything on summon? Mm. Yeah, has to have a fair in hand that. Yep. <laughs> you mean like that? One of the biggest <laughs> interrupting plays in all of Yu Gi Oh right now? <laughs> yep. I already know. Yep. So, Karaz, go ahead and pop your, uh, your brilliant fusion, because I don't need it anymore. Are you gonna pop one of his cards or just your card? Alright, Burden Fusion and. One of his cards? Brob itself, I think. Most of you don't want to destroy your opponent's cards if you don't absolutely have to. Mm hmm. Breaking rule number one and rule number two of Yu Gi Oh! Don't do it. I don't even care if you let them even out. You still don't let them draw. <laughs> it's like Dark Bribe. <laughs> yep. Mm. I mean, you can get rid of that Megalo. Cause that might be a threat as soon as he equips that Equip spell. Okay. Or you could pop himself. So, I guess he's thinking that Megalo is enough of a threat to go ahead and pop it. Alright. I mean, Aaron still has cards in hand. Almost someone's already been conducted. If you could bust out another Mega Oil, that might be pretty powerful. I don't know what you have in your hand, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Of course. <laughs> I still hate Norton. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Giving opponent so many cards. So many cards, like it has to O the K or the Mermel Dualist is pretty much completely screwed, so like Yeah yeah, that's not once per turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freaking monarchs. So good. Yeah. Not really. Not anything outside uh Yeah, not any, outside anything that Monarchs would usually have. Setting up the Monarch Storm Force with the Ether, that's fine. You max seed, come on. You allowed him to draw into plays. <laughs> yeah, this format is pretty much a, pretty much a dice roll format that you have to go first. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't wait for this format to be over. <sighs> probably, probably sometime in like late July, early August, we'll probably get a list. Yeah, most likely in that time frame. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fucking Konami, still can't stand you guys not telling us shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how we are, we are getting a list in completely random times. Mm -hmm. Honest is a guy. Ether is a girl, right? Ether yep. is a girl. His boobs. This is a girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you got him actually, you're just gonna allow him to go off for a second. Even though, it's surprising that Aaron chose to go first with Mermel. Alright. Yeah, Atlantis want to go second. Mm -hmm. Just to go for the K. Or the K. Wow! Wow, already. Oh, wow, I guess he just opened up bad, like, what's up with these monarchs and just quitting? Like, actually, like, monarchs, they quit fast. <laughs> like, screw it, he opened up too well. I'd rather go first in game three. <laughs> just take it all, if that's what you want, Tenacity. I can't believe your name is Tenacity and you're playing extra monarchs, like, come on. But I would love for, you know, us different hits. Like, of course, pantheism and then, like, tenacity, and then it comes together for worlds, and then the next year, marks are being like, um, yeah, you can't do shit. <laughs> one domain, one tenacity, and one pantheism. 
or the SR or something. I don't really care. Just hit that deck. I'm so sick and tired of that deck. Oh. Yeah, same here. All right. Just a very boring deck and a pretty broken deck as well. Mm-hmm. Monarchs. Damn. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Get that Valor. Oh my god, they are so good. Which is the Mark plays, the Tin Cam plays, the first turn Sword Star or Skull Corbett Joker. Seems like people should just main deck Valors. <laughs> You're so monster heavy right now. Yep. But it has been most heavy for the past like five years at least. Yep. That's why some track is so good. <laughs> no, should actually even keep that at three. They will probably keep it at three. Wow. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is short. Well Kind of feel like I want to get another one because it's so freaking short. I can't mark. Keep quitting. Be right back. All right, finally got another duel. So uh, let's see, no I could so it's domain monarchs. Ooh, not extra black monarchs. Uh, monarchs real in the world. Well, it could be something else that runs no exodus. Like what? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe Clifford. Oh, maybe. Maybe I saw that get going up in a little bit in popularity with uh, that card demise. Yeah, so PK Fire. Well, or maybe Pure Burning Is it Pure Burning Ice? It looks like it. So, Mattia Arcangelia? I don't know. <laughs> 1259, Snipe Hunter 55 at 1286. So, Pure Looks like Burning Abyss, and looks, I don't know, maybe? Maybe Domain Monarchs? Maybe Cleese? I have no idea. It'd be all good. Yep. Nah, just put the terror guy there. <laughs> That's cute. <clears throat> you about to get fire, fire linked already. Ooh, Cosmos. Oh, it's awesome. With no Kill extra him. deck. Okay. I mean, I did it, but that was only because I was too lazy to make an extra deck. <laughs> like, it's still nice to have your toolbox in Cosmos. And it actually caught off the mice, it's now being played in Cosmos as well, which is pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They just lowered their monster count and upped their back row count. Summon Tin Can. Okay, it actually might be coming right now. Yep, card of Demise. <laughs> oh, Horn of Heaven. Ah. Uh... I'm actually playing Horn of Heaven in my Heldic Beast deck as well. Hmm. Distribute you off your uh, plan coat? Yeah, pretty much. Because my Dormada is not always reliable. Because I have to attribute the Psyche monster, but with Horn of Heaven, I can, I can attribute any monster. Yeah, there it is. Yep, just throw free for <laughs> no reason. For no fucking reason, that's fair. Yep. So he set two and save I me, mean, save two. So you just drew, drew three and discarded one. Strong. So he's pretty much a plus one. Yeah. So you play it, then you pitch one, and you drew three, so it's a plus one. Yep. Yep. Stronger than uh than uh Graceful Charity right there. <laughs> well, not that exactly, but. Uh... It just is, it, I mean, it has more restrictions, but in that sense, what he just did right there, that was stronger than Graceful Charity. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just it must have pure advantage and sense, yeah. Yep. That, that's, that's fair. Calcad, go ahead and put that one random set back out of all of them sets. So it's interesting that you're not playing an extra deck where you would love to go ahead and side in that, uh, that Winter Blossom. Of course, that's one strike. Mm-hmm. 
So you might as well poke with 25 with Dante. Why not? Maybe go into a Beatrice if you feel like it. Yep. I'm guessing one of those set cards is a Call of the Haunted or Oasis or that, uh, that tin can. I think they run like 13 monsters in in Cardamize Cosmos. Mm. 13, 14 I don't want 15, probably. Of course, you're 3, Tin Can, you're 3. I think Tin Can and Dark Shore are the only ones that you went at 3. <laughs> and Farm Girl as well. They run 3 Farm Girl? Yeah, in the Stun version, yeah, in the Card of Demise version. They that's, play 3 Farm Girl. That's surprising. Usually I see them only running 1. <laughs> Well, they run Farm Girl only one in the, I guess, the Far King version. Mm. And in the Call of the Mice version, Farm Girl becomes very good because you disrupt your plan with traps and then you can go for game after that. Okay. Yeah, well, that was a fine play. Of course, Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike, Solemn Strike. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're just teleporting. You got another card of demise, so you're gonna go Hello Plus. Well, we won't be able to use it because summoned. Use, yeah. Using MC Teleport. Ooh. Alright, alright. Ooh. Then that card as well. Yep. Go ahead and summon and Farm Girl. It's pretty much a spell of fate. Yep, that card is so good. Cosmo, yeah. Oh, it's going up in price, even more expensive. Yep. That was a fine play. You're gonna search for. Yep, of course. I'll get it in with Dark Destroyer too. Then maybe you can hold on to it. A little bit of interrupted plays next turn. Wow. Okay, farm, farm girl back? Alright. So maybe we got Tin Cam back. <laughs> Shuffle him back. Alright. Possibly get some more back row. Yep. Lolos. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> like, I don't need. Yeah, that's pretty hard to get though. I like Dark Sword and two back rows. Mm hmm. Not include, yeah. Especially the back of this deck has a hard time dealing with Dark Destroyer. You can go all in and try to bust out a Hope, but... I mean, not a Hope. I forgot its name. F-Zero. Uh, future Hope? Yeah, Future Hope. I'm so used to calling the... Like, a Hope. That Future Hope, I guess I call him F-Zero. <laughs> you can do all of that, but I can't say that's the safest of plays. Or, you know, he might have another set Cosmo Joe, and then you're screwed, so... <laughs> yeah, that player costs a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he can get it, and none of that back row is anything, then he'll have game. Just take the dark star and poke him with it, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's probably like, sir. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Card of Demise Cosmos, what's next? And Probably not extra deck monitors because they generally like to keep the cards in their hand. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The time that Farm Girl gets it in this game. Of course. Of course it's Sir. <laughs> yep. What's that do? Okay. They're both 15, so... Yep. <laughs> okay. So much sir and graph shenanigans burning this. I can't wait for burning this to not be meta. <laughs> oh shit, is that actually... Is that actually PK? Wow, yeah, wait, it, seems it, was, like, it was PK this entire time? <laughs> I thought yeah, it was... I really hate how Burning Abysses have using the Phantom Light Arch type. Like, uh, Phantom yeah. Lights don't belong to you at all. No, they don't make it. Yeah. 
Well, I haven't seen a single Phantom Knight car this entire duel, and all of a sudden it's Phantom Knights. Well, they only run like a few Phantom Knight cars anyway, so. Mm. I guess they didn't, didn't see them until this point. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So who's Graf gonna summon? It'd be like. Libic or something? I have no idea. Skarm? Did maybe get a search or something during the end phase? So do you think just Dante would be fine? Or do you think other things? Mm, you mean... For that general PK fire burning abyss hit. Yeah, Dante to one will be fine. Barbar now. So can you recycle Barbar? <laughs> Burn him out? Yeah, definitely don't hit the Phantom Knights themselves because they are not uh, at their problem, at least right now. I think if pure Phantom Knights become a, a really huge problem, yeah, then, but until then, I think the Phantom Knights are fine for now. Can you only use one's effect or each effect? You can only use each effect, okay. I don't think he's gonna run that, maybe just Dante again? Maybe. Oh, Red Sword, alright. I'd probably be like on summon tag out into uh. Oh, he's not even gonna use an effect? Okay, there we go. You probably should have summoned that in defense mode. Yeah, 200 should make the difference between you losing and winning when it comes to bar bar. <laughs> That'd be funny if that's actually how this game ends, because bar bar burns once again. Yep, yeah, only 1,000 left, so... Yep. Let's go ahead and take that 200. And who are you summoning? Brexor's is still too expensive. Yeah, it definitely is. Oh, alright. Simon Landwalker. So, now you can destroy a Cosmo Town if you want to. That's pretty good. Just in case you see this Break Sword effect in my face, too. Problem is, you could be targeted by like a Dark Rebellion. Yep. So, go the brick sword effect. Target, target, pop, pop. Summons a rebellion. He can just cut in half your landwalker if it's still on the field and then be stronger than you, even your dark destroyer. So, hmm. <laughs> but no, it's too late to do that. Because I already, already attacked this turn. But cool to be the next turn, but. I don't think that Break Sword is going to survive for long. Is there any trap cards in there? I don't think there's any trap cards in there. What you need to do is just be able to eke out just a little bit more damage. You should have game, you can just crash the Dark- yeah, you can just crash the Dark Destroyer. Yep. Yep, summon off and attack for game. All oh, right, he just gets that just gets the effect. Period. You want to destroy a battle? That breaks the sword now. That's yep. A card effect. Nope. Just for period. Yep. Some of those two back. You know, it should be at least enough for now to survive a turn. A sniper hunter over here is just paying life points like crazy. I'd say you plan on getting some direct attacks in. <laughs> yeah. 
Jag menar inte game. <laughs> Jäkla himla och varm. Ja. Yeah. Jag tar att stå här så på hit. Ja. Jag vet inte vad vi ska för en match. Jag vet att den här videon är hård i två länge. Ja, det är det. Alright, so we're done. Apologies, you can't get the match done, but this video is gone for half an hour. So if you guys enjoy, thank you all, Mega, for joining me. No prank, Cloud Twin, as always. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and uh, see you guys on Thursday with another video on Do Commentary. Thanks for watching.